peppers. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make fried porgies. Before we get into the video, comment, subscribe, and like. I'm cleaning some porgies and I'm taking all the inside out. You're gonna see some red stuff that don't belong in there. Take that out. Bust open the head of the fish, cause that's what I do, just to get the inside of the head and pull out all the extra. You're gonna see a black thing in there, pull that out too, cause if you leave it in, your fish is gonna be bitter and it may scratch your tongue. So get all of that stuff out. Clean it as much as you could. All right, and the fish guy, fish guy in the market, he cleaned it, he scaled it for me already, but I like to pass my knife over it to get all the extra scales out, you know? And when I'm finished, I'll split it with a knife, but don't laugh at this knife. This is not the right knife. This is like a butter knife. I can't find my good one. So I'm gonna use this in the meantime. And that's how you do it. Then I'm gonna put it in some lemon or lime and season it up. Let it soak for like two minutes because you know how fish gets soft and then season it. I'll show you that part in a minute. I'm squeezing some lime on there and make sure the lime get into every part of the fish. And I don't like to smell the fish too much. You know, you kill it with kindness with the lime or the lemon. <laughs> Leave this in there. Then soak in some water or something, but I don't put too much water, I'm sorry. Not too much water, because the fish gonna get sore. So, I'm gonna cut it with the same knife again. I don't know why I'm using this knife, and I have a lot of knives in the thing, but I got a sharp knife. So, just deal with me for a minute. And I'm gonna use the lemon again, put more lemon. Soak it up, soak it up, soak it up. And then I'll leave this there, let it soak in for maybe about two minutes so that freshness will come out of it. I'll wash it off and then I'll season it. I'll be right back. Soak it for like three minutes. I'm gonna rinse off the, the lime that I have in there. Pull the water out and I'm gonna squeeze a little more lemon so it will stay in there while seasoning up. So I'm squeezing maybe less than a half of a lemon, a lime. I'm using lime this time, but you could use lemon. So half of a lime and I'm starting all my seasonings. I'm using this Caribbean seasoning flavor. And I don't really measure, so I'm gonna put just a little bit of each of the seasoning in there, the spices. That should be enough. Just use your imagination, you know what I'm saying? It's your, for your taste buds. And then I'm using this other one. I'm seasoning it up with this. I don't wanna to put too much because most of these seasoning might have a little bit of salt in there. So you don't want to put too much. And then I'm using this, the lemon pepper. Just a little bit of this because it already has lime in there, so you don't want to overpower it with the lemon. And I am going to use this new seasoning. It's called Jet Seasoning. I mostly go to that because it has pepper in there. So, this is just seasoning, I bought it today. I'm gonna try it out, it's an all spice. It doesn't really have anything to do with jokes, only jokes. All right, it's an all spice, it has black pepper, it has all the other spices in there. So I use all of this, put it in. These porgies are gonna get well seasoned. And then I'm using this again. This is the jerk season also, but it's really all of the mince up green seasoning and it has the pepper in it, so I usually go for that if I don't grind up my own seasoning. And you just put it, it's hot, it has the mild one, I like the hot one, I love pepper. So I'm gonna throw some of that in there. I'm gonna put some of these in here. All right, I'm gonna use like four packs because it's three big porgies, or medium sized porgies. So I wanted to season up well good. I usually open this to the um, porgy head and throw all the spices up in there too. And I split the porgies on top of each, on top of the um, sides of the porgies, so the seasoning could go into that. I'm gonna put like about three or four in there. Mix it well. I put a little bit of salt, or sometimes I don't even use the salt because all of these seasoning already have their sauce. Their salt, sorry. But I'm gonna put a little drop of salt. If you notice, it might be less than a half of the teaspoon because everything is in there already. I'm a clean freak, so you're gonna see me opening this pack a hundred times. And I'm gonna put, while I'm seasoning, 
I'm putting all the seasoning up into the middle of the fish, into the belly of the fish, so it can soak in properly. And all into the split, if you split it on top, you don't have to, but I do. You can put all the seasoning in there. See, they have a little slish in there. So you can put all your seasoning in there. Marinate this for like overnight or for later on in the day. If I'm doing this in the morning, seasoning in the morning, I do, I cook it later on in the day, but I usually like to marinate it for overnight or maybe two days. But you can do the cooking right away if you want to, because you have enough seasoning to support a good dish to taste it. So this is it for now. I'm gonna cover it up. I put it in the fridge and let it stay there because I'm not ready to eat this yet until all the seasoning is soaked into it. All right, so see me when I'm cooking it. Day one, so it's gonna sit in there by itself and do its thing. Make sure it's flowered on both sides and then shake the flour out. Because if you don't, they start burning the oil and the oil gets black because of the residue of the flour. Shake it out, and put it in, and that's it. Peppers, I've just finished cooking everything. I did the fried fish, french fries, and fritters, vegetable fritters. So we gonna eat up a storm over here. It smells great in this kitchen. Comment, subscribe, and like.